Hey guys, thanks for being in here. Thanks for coming in here. Top Secret T, True No Lies, Donna. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks for the hearts. Yo, 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 what's up? Good morning, Wendy. Nicole, thanks for being here. Sam Tran, good for being here. Trey, Nikki G, thanks for being here. Gerald's. Solutions guy. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Happy Monday. Sweet Face Cosmetics. Thanks for being in here. I appreciate it. Like the best this morning. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks, Raph. Good to see you, my friend. Kim, good to see you as well. Hey, Jets fan. Uh, yeah, man. It's a little chilly, so I had to rock the vest today. I got two vests. I got vest on vest. Vest, vest on vest. I'm vesting. So I got, um, yeah, I got a regular vest, and I got like a, a you know, outside, outdoors vest. It is, it's like 40s, mid 40s today, so it's going to be a little chilly, um, start to the morning, maybe go up a little bit more. So, uh, I want to thank you guys for being in here, vest on, yeah, I, I got to do the vest on vest action, vest times two, vest to the power of two. Um, I want to thank you guys for being in here today, do me a huge favor, um, I always ask you guys to do me two things, where am I, I'm in Washington DC area, Solutions Turk. Um, Scope Scout, good to see you. I was watching YouTube's Four Steps Starting Business. Oh, great. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching that, True No Lies. I appreciate it. Um, that is based on my book, uh, Start Me Up, the No Business Plan, Business Plan. Need this today. Rough day at work. Oh, my, oh, that sucks, Jets fan. Man, I'm sorry that, that, Matt Crane, thanks for being in here, Matt Crane. That's my dude. Thanks for inviting people. I really appreciate it. I'm um, glad you got it, uh, Kathy. Thank you so much for, for the book. Uh, check out Matt Crane. He's a, he's a business coach, success coach, 10Xer. Um, you got to follow him for some of his strategies. You see a lot of his stuff today. Uh, yeah, let's get Monday started off right, Dr. Watkins. Good to see you. Thank you for taking the time to be in here. I ask you guys two things and two things only. Do me a favor. The first thing is please share this with your friends and followers. Every single person, click the Perry dude. Sw swipe up, swipe, swipe left, right, whatever you need to do, and invite people in here. Thank you. Great. Coach Sam, good to see you, Coach Sam. Um, oh, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. That means a lot to me, uh, Matt. You're the man, my friend. I really appreciate that. Um, and the other thing, too, is give me some hearts, too, if you like what I'm saying. I appreciate you guys sharing this and getting people in here in the scope. Uh, let me tell you who I am. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to talk about today. Uh, some of you guys already know. A lot of you guys already know who I am um, as people come in here. My name is Abong Eka. I'm a certified public accountant in the Washington, D.C. area. I'm also the author of the best-selling business book, Start Me Up, the No Business Plan, Business Plan. I'm also the founder of Economics, where we focus on your mission, your mindset, and your money. In addition to that, on the side, I also do uh, TV, small business, uh, and media, uh, financial, um, small business financial personality. So I go on and talk about the economy, entrepreneurship, uh, personal finance. Uh, just things that have to do with money and the economy and people as a whole. Like that's kind of my purview. So I, t I, I you know, I, I, MSNBC, Fox News, uh, you name it, CNN, China Central, Rise, HuffPost Live, you name it. I've been on it. Um, ABC, NBC, I've been all over the place. Um, hey, Keith Maurice, how you feeling? How you feeling, bro? It's another guy you should uh, you should uh, follow. Keith Maurice, he does uh, games on pa on Periscope. Uh, his website is play for, playforstuff.com. You can win win prizes and stuff if you, if you uh, join his stuff. So I thank you guys for being in here. Um, I really appreciate you guys being in here. And, you know, today uh, I want to talk, it's Monday. And so a lot of times people struggle with Monday. There are a lot of people that struggle with their Mondays. Good morning from BMAR. You're close, 410. I'm in D.C., my friend, so good to see you here, flight team. Um, the thing is, a lot of people struggle with, with Mondays. Oh, Siberia. Oh, that sucks, man. Good to see you. I'm sorry that it's cold there, but I hope you got you got your furs and everything else. You're wrapped up. I appreciate you being in here. You know, Mondays, especially here in the U.S., a lot of people, you know, there's a study that Les Brown once said, once mentioned, that majority of the heart attacks that people suffer come Monday, right? They come on Monday. Um, tell you, uh, on Instagram more. I'll check it out also, Sandy. Thank you so much. And, and, and they struggle because, hey, from Russia, good to see you, man. Um... Privet. That's all I know in Russian. Privet. Um, I'm, that's the only Russian I know. Um, and so a lot of people struggle on Mondays because they're, they're they don't like where they're going. They don't like the, the they don't like the the job they're going to. They don't like their life. They don't like what's going on with them. They don't. They're struggling and whatever they're doing. So Mondays when they have tremendous amounts of anxiety, that's when you have cortisol. If you know cortisol, it's like cortisone. It's like an adrenaline rushing through your brain, your veins, and then through that you end up. 
It ends up seizing up parts of your organs and everything else. And people would, would suffer from heart attacks on Monday morning. This happened years ago where people would, majority of people, a lot, majority of heart attacks would happen, you know, Monday, maybe Tuesday because they were stressed about their work, stressed about their lives. You know what I'm saying? How do I invite people to this message? Um, hey, 410 flight team, I think you swipe up, depends what kind of phone you have, and you swipe up and you hit uh, share broadcast, and you click the share broadcast, and I think that's like, there you go, there you go, my friend. Thank you, thank you for doing that, I appreciate that, sir. And so a lot of people, Monday morning, it's, it doesn't, I don't care who you are, I don't care if you're the president I don't, of the United States, I don't care if you are a rich individual, if you're somebody, whoever you are, I don't care if you're poor, poverty stricken, a lot of people st you know, stress about Mondays. But the, those, but what I've realized is the people who don't stress about Mondays are the ones who are doing what they want to do. They're moving steps closer to living the life that they want to live. Now, I want to show you, I want to tell you something real quickly. Hey, Stephanie, is that when you're going through tough times, when you're in a situation where you're going through tough times, Monday comes, it's hard for you because you're like, I hate this job. I hate this boss. I hate this life. I hate what I'm going through, right? When you're going through tough times, you got to, all the, all the only thing you have to do Right? This message can be short because the only thing you have to do is outlast it. Everything in life is temporary. Everything is temporary. We're all going to... Look, a lot of you may or may not know people who have already passed away. A lot of you may or may not know people who have gone through sicknesses and illnesses and bad stuff and bad times, but they've come out of it. You will always come out of something. Exactly, Ram 130. Safety, you know, procrastination is a safety mechanism for you to stay in your comfort zone. I agree with that. But you will always, the, the storm will always pass. So when you're going through rough times, the only thing you have to do is outlast the storm. And so I, I want to I wanna apply this to sports. When I was playing professional basketball, we used to do these drills. We used to run quarter court, run half court, run, you know, full court, and then back, and then do a couple push-ups, and then shoot them free throws. And the coach would never tell us how long we were supposed to do this for, right? The coach would never tell us. He'd never say, okay, all you need to do is last five minutes. It's a five-minute drill. Or maybe it's a two-minute drill. Sometimes it'd be six minutes. Sometimes it'd be three minutes. It all depends on what he was trying to what he, he was trying to push us. But here's the reason. In life, life's the, the exact same thing. Life never tells you your, your, your setbacks are going to be 10 minutes long. Life never tells you that your setbacks are going to be three weeks, that you're going to go through some difficulty for six months. You're only going to have a year of difficulty, and when you come through it, you're going to, go, you're going to be greater. You are never told these things. Life never tells you where, where, where the light at the end of the tunnel is, right? And so, so the thing for you that you have to understand is that if you can outlast it, it's easy if you're told. If someone tells you, you know what, Jim, Joe, Jimmy, whatever your name is, Dr. Watkins, also Sandy, if you're told, look, all you got to do is go through this difficulty for three weeks and you can live the life that you want for the rest of your life. We'd all be able to do it. But the thing is, not a, we're not told that. That's not what life is. That's not what life is like. Life never tells you that stuff. You hear what I'm saying? Life never tells you that stuff. You are never told by life that that's what that you're going to go through certain things. And when you go through it, it's going to be great. You don't tell you the longevity. You're not told the amount of time that it takes, right? I'm sorry, I remember you only, oh, thank you so much, Ram 130. I appreciate you being in here. And so you got to understand this piece. In life, the only thing you have to do is outlast that difficulty. If you don't like the situation you're in, if you don't like what you're doing, if you don't like who you're with, if you don't like the job that you're at, all you have to do is outlast it. Right? A storm comes, the same thing. Be like a palm tree. I want you guys to do me a favor. And there's no instruction manual in life. We'd be able to live a lot better if we had an instruction manual. Let me tell you, I want you guys to do a little, do me a huge favor. After you get off this periscope, go take, go research the palm tree. You notice there's a reason why palm trees are in certain parts of, 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 the, of the hemisphere. They're not in the north, they're not in the south. They're in places where there are a lot of like torrential, tropical storms, hurricanes, right? It's very simple. Besides what the way that they're made, if you notice, they never break. Very rarely are they break. Palm trees are always uprooted, but they're not, they're never broken. Why? Because they've been made to bend to weather the storm. They've been made to oscillate between the the, 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 the wind and and, and the, the everything that's blown through you, right? Exactly, exactly, Keith. You could survive through hell if you knew you, you, you get out of one day. But I want you to take a look at a palm tree. See what a palm tree is. Be like a palm tree. It'll oscillate back and forth. Every time you see storms, you can watch what happened with, you know, with Katrina. And they show the storms happening. They show what happened in Galveston, Texas. 
palm trees are doing this, back and forth. Houses are being torn up and thrown into the sea. Cars are being tossed all over the place. People are floating around dead. Palm trees doing this. Because all it had to do was outlast that storm. That storm is going to pass. When the storm passed, the palm tree was still there, growing even bigger and larger than, our, than it was before that. So we are built to bend. We are built to be resilient. In life, we are built to get through stuff, to get through storms. But the thing is, you cannot quit during, during that time. Because if you know, you can't quit during that process. Because you know when you get through it, you'll have reference experiences to look back and say, look, I went through this difficult time. I know there's nothing else in life that can be worse than what I've gone through and you have the ability to take one more step closer to where you're supposed to be and so we're not we're bent we're, we were built we were made we were molded to bend but not break and so i want to challenge you today so today as you guys walk onto your office as you wake up working on your business if you wake up in a relationship whatever you're doing that you're not happy in you got to ask yourself a simple question can i outlast the storm can i outlast this storm Plain and simple. And if you can, if you if you know you can, right? If you're told, ask yourself, if someone told you, if all I had to do was get through three months of this hell, would I be able to live the rest of my life? Majority of you guys would say yes. The problem with most people, the ones who quit, the ones who suffer, the ones who give up, a lot of the times, right? When that happens, they look in the mirror and say, I can't get through this. This is going to go on forever. I can't get through this. It's going to go on forever. The thing is, the reality is it doesn't. It never goes on forever, my friends. It never does. Thank you so much, Raph. Thank you so much, Nicole Hawk. Thank you, uh, uh, 410 Flight Team. I appreciate you being here, sharing people. I appreciate you guys sharing my message with people today, bringing people in. You are too close to giving up now. There's an amazing book called Three Feet from Gold by Greg Reed, who writes for the Napoleon Hill Foundation. That book basically talks about, it's a story about a person who literally is three feet from hitting gold. But he gave up because he didn't think it didn't look like the way it seemed to him. He gave up because it didn't look like something that it didn't look like what he thought it would look like. So as a result of that, he gave up. The next person bought all his all his tools, all his equipment for peanuts. He goes in, finds out how the system worked, how where, where everything is. And then the next thing you know, a couple bites of the apple gets gold. Gold come raining down for days. You see what I'm saying? And so there are people in life. You are so close to where you're supposed to be. You are so close to where you're supposed to be, but you're so close to giving up as well because you don't know how long your storm's going to be. The thing is in life, look at nature. Nature is a microcosm of our situation because we are in it, right? When you got a windstorm, rainstorm, snowstorm, hailstorm, whatever storm it is, emotional storm, physical storm, it will pass. It'll pass in some capacity. But you got to understand that at some point in time, if you know that's going to happen, it's going to happen, it's going to pass, and you can get through that. Again, we see the problem is we'll, we'll look at a wall, we'll look at, you know, a pyramid and think, oh man, I, I can never build a pyramid. No one's asking you to build a pyramid. No one's asking you to build a Great Wall of China. All they're asking you to do is lay the first brick, lay the second brick, lay the third brick. Everything is done in your life in incremental steps. There's no way you go from idea to a pyramid, idea to the Great Wall of China. There's planning, there's steps that are taken. You do your best Best effort in individual times every single time. You will increase the likelihood of you building a pyramid and building a great wall. That's it. Again, when the storms come, you're like a palm tree. You're going back and forth. The book title is Three Feet from Gold, Cast W4200. Uh, three Feet from Gold. Three, the number three, like this three, write it out, Three Feet from Gold by Greg Reed. Greg S. Reed. You can just you Google that, it'll come up. Right. And then the same thing, Alchemist. Alchemist is another great book. That book changed my life. All right. The, uh, uh, this is an aside. When Alchemist came out, sorry, when I read The Alchemist was about, yes, three feet from gold. That's it. When I read The Alchemist last last summer, I'd had a friend whose wife died. My dog had just passed away in the span of two weeks. I had another person who died a few months prior to that that I knew um, all tragically, one through cancer disease. Another one, dog just died, just died. And the other one was, uh, got hit by a car. All this other stuff was happening. You see what I'm saying? I needed to read The Alchemist to understand that I had a personal legend. And from that point is when I started growing who I am today. The things that you see me talk about, the things that who I am, that's when it started ex exponentially growing because I read that I understood that I had, a, I, had a, I, had a, I had a responsibility to share my gifts, to share my message, to share my thoughts with the world to help people to get people to another level and so i had to get myself to another level at some point and so the thing is i read it constantly hey camille good to see you on here um 
I had to read it constantly and remind myself that I, I had I had gift to share with the world. But the same thing with you guys. If you're going through some hardship right now, you're going through some difficulty right now. I gotta I gotta challenge you. I really gotta push you and cut you. You literally have to outlast it. You can do it. All you need to do is not easy. I'm not. I will never say it's easy. So do not. You never have to feel that you have to say if it were easy, everybody. You never have to say that. I'm not. I know it's not easy. I would hear. Uh, I've learned how my young feelings of shame have been uh, major hampers to hold me. Exactly, exactly. And see, the thing is, a lot of us we carry around these these weights of things we can shed. We carry around extra luggage. It's called baggage for a reason, right? Rather than us checking the luggage, we can tell we try to carry that stuff on. We try to carry on an extra hundred pounds on an airplane, and we wonder why we can't get through the gate. We wonder why we can't get in our seats. We wonder why we can't stuff it in the overhead compartment because we walk around carrying. 100, 200 pounds of extra luggage that we don't need and we can easily shed, right? Excess weight, excess baggage. It keeps our plane from flying as high as it possibly can go. You see, an eagle doesn't have baggage. An eagle is light. Its bones are, dense, are, are not as dense as ours, so it can, it, can, it, can, it can soar. Certain other animals who have dense bones can't fly. And so you got to understand it's the exact same thing. We check. Yeah, I, I, look, I check my luggage as much as I possibly can. I try to shed it. Why? Because... I will never, I would not be the person I am today if I did not get rid of some of the things that happened to me in the past. You got to understand it. We all have setbacks. I'm not a special dude. My dad wasn't in my life growing up. You see what I'm saying? My mom raised four kids by, my, by, by himself. I have a grandfather who was a central figure in the Nigerian government over, over like almost 100 years ago. I didn't even know any of this until a couple years ago. But you got to understand this. There was a legacy that was built over a hundred years ago that comes through. You have the ability to do the same thing in your life, to bring a legacy for your life, your family, wherever you're trying to, wherever you're trying to accomplish. So I want to remind you, that's, that's exactly how it is. Look, I lived in public housing for over a decade, right? We had, we, we were living like, like we weren't even paid to paycheck. My mom was working multiple jobs. All the jobs were going to paying bills. So you got to understand it. You got to get this. We all have similar situations. The key is this. Am I ever going to outlast it? Hey, Scope Scout, thank you so much. You know what? I would love to do that. That'd be awesome. I would love to speak. Um, <laughs> you're a CPA as well. That's awesome, Paul. I would, lo I would love to speak at the AICPA. And I, I do CPE training too. I do leadership training and coaching uh, in addition. And that's what I do with economics, but I also do that at other places as well. So thank you so much for saying that. Um, and so, so I just want to remind you guys, it's very simple. You got to be, you literally, you literally, you literally need to be like a palm tree, whatever it is you're dealing with. Hey, Miss Monroe, good to see you, right? You, you got money problems and you're like this. You're like, you think you're about to break. You're a palm tree. Palm trees don't break. I've never seen a broken palm tree. I'm sure they exist, but I've never seen a broken palm tree myself. They do this. They're, they're, just, they're just wiggling, wiggling back and forth as the wind is blowing them. 100 mile an hour wind gusts. Buildings are being, t buildings, buildings made out of concrete, metal, and steel are being ripped out of the ground. But a palm tree is like this. You hear what I'm saying? You hear what I'm saying? So be like a palm tree. You have the ability, you have the ability to be, resi to be resilient in that sense. When you look at storms, you see uh, Jim Cantore in the Weather Channel being holding on to the wall while the winds are blowing him. The palm trees are just bending. They're built that way for a reason. Right? Everything is built for a reason. There's a functional capacity to why it exists. You have the ability to do the same thing. Right? Uh, thank you so much, Nicole Hawk. I really appreciate that. Look, as I leave you guys, I want to empower you and inspire you that, look, this is the last thing I'm going to say. If you have a situation you're going through right now, some difficulty, difficult situation, some, some, you know, your job, your, your family, your relationships, anything else you're going through, all you need to do is outlast it. At some point in time, you have to make a decision, but all you need to do is outlast it. If you do that, I promise you, when you come out of it, you there, there will be a sense of, of, of resiliency and no one else will be able to, 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 to stop you from going to that next level where you need to go, right? Unless some cuts them down, but they grow exactly, exactly, VIP Nate. That's it, that's it, man. Even if you cut down a palm tree, it grows back. Why? Because it's resilient. Hey, Mandy Arthur. Mandy Arthur is phenomenal. You need to follow her too. Success Fast Lane. Um, uh, entrepreneur on so many levels um 
Um, she does amazing work. Her and uh, they have a show. Her and uh, uh, um, uh, Matt Crane 10X. They got an amazing show called uh, the Mandy, uh, the Matt and Mandy show. I, I had a chance to be on there, so I was very fortunate to be on there and be interviewed by them as well. Um, thank you so much, uh, Paul, for taking notes on the replay. I appreciate you guys sharing this out. I'm just going to again. I just want to empower you guys and remind you guys. Look, if you're going through any difficulty in your life, uh, Mandy, yeah, Mandy's on here. Uh, photo social uh, Phoenicia and if you have any problems in your life you have to understand it and there you go success fast lane Mandy Arthur there you go if, if you have a problem in your life all you need to do is outlast it the amazing book uh, 410 flight team thank you for sharing that um, uh, three feet from gold Beth Hoover good to see you on here love your scopes Tabasa Mir yes thanks for catching a replay Tabasa Dr. Mir is phenomenal you know, she's a she's a celebrity doctor you need to check her out she does stuff on skin uh, on nutrition health um, she's, she's literally, she's a phenomenal person. Her scopes are always informative. If you don't know like what kind of makeup to use, what kind of stuff, but, like, like, I mean the nutritional value of it, not like just be, not just like doing stuff. I mean like, the, like the, the, using, using like good products versus products that stink. So she's phenomenal. Always insightful, always amazing, uh, amazing tips and points. I don't use makeup, but sometimes I catch myself watching it and be like, Oh God, I didn't know that. Oh God, that's interesting. So she has phenomenal information. You need to find her out. I'm blessed to have people like you guys on my scope. All these amazing Beth Hoover and Nicole, uh, Nicole Hawk and, and Phil social, all the amazing people, many amazing people on my scope. So I'm always, 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 always so literally fortunate and I'm always humbled by this. So thank you so much guys for being amazing and everything else. Um, but you don't watch my scope still. No, I didn't, uh, I wasn't following you before. I wasn't following you before, but now I am. So, so with that said, thank you so much, everybody. Camille, you've been great. Sam Douglas, everyone who's out here. So, I want to remind you guys, empower you guys just to believe this simple, simple, simple principle. Simple principle. Be like, be like a palm tree. If you're going through a storm, all you have to do is outlast it. Because if you do, you will be able to grow back like a palm tree. They don't break. They just bend.